does this give it a chance to win? I feel like the cone snail doesn't do that much, but it's probably still better than buying the egg. But yeah, having a full team of things with one attack is not insane. You think the new penguin has never had this many waffles before? It's my first time, like, using waffles on the new penguin. Oh, come on, why against this team? Okay, I need, like, more attack or something. <laughs> these. Uh, okay. Well, I might as well combine two of these now, because I can only save two gold anyway. So let's run it like this, and hopefully we will get a draw or a win, because I don't want to lose more HP, because then I'll be permanent. Pterodon is a cool pet. Wireless fang trigger. I just like this, um... Trying to think how to phrase it. It's not like a tiger where you have to level the Pteranodon to um, get the same value out of the faint triggers. Because like, it, it literally just repeats it. So if you have a level 3 thing fainting, then a level 1 Pteranodon, you know, copies the exact same ability. And yeah, we're, we're combining. Early flea. Is it worth chocolate caking this? Hmm. It might be. Alright, take that then. Uh, I'm not going to have any summons. I don't have any trumpets, so squid also kind of sucks. Gazelle. We could be saving money. I think maybe sell a cone snail by gazelle and then just end it. Because then I can save my two gold. Okay. Is the whole planting thing with believers and doubt is gone now? No, but I haven't been doing it consistently. Don't know how I feel about it. I want to keep these for a level up, but I don't know when I'm going to find that. Uh, definitely not by selling stoves. Okay, let's just like grab this. We can buff some stuff I'm probably keeping for a while. And I do love those hits. Missing the chipmunk was huge. I'm going to keep rolling for more, I think. Oh, okay, we can just do this then. So buy that. Probably buy an apple, because then we still get to save two gold. And I may go for a flea game, because I do need that achievement. So I'm going to buff it. Because eventually, I know it doesn't do anything at the moment, but eventually if I get this to level three... Then I will be replacing the equipment, and then, you know, we'll actually be using it. More penguins? No. <laughs> that was just a temporary buy sell, you know. Two gold for three attacks. That was a good fight. Except we lost. Okay, yeah, so we have no summons. Flying fish isn't really it. Flying fish has also been changed, now has limited triggers. Just gives experience, but yeah, and it's also a 1 2 down from 3 3. They really like butchered this. The classic 1 HP remaining. It's like every loss. At least Sea Lion again. I mean, I don't mind it, but I do have one thing that's going to be dying at the start of every round. So, uh, that Guinea Pal's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know what to do with the Chipmunk. I feel like that's the most expendable thing, but maybe it's the Gazelle, because I don't actually want to be. I don't know. Chipmunk's only good if I wait until tier 4 and then like give it a banana and then immediately sell it again, but maybe it's better to start investing in things I care about more, so we'll just get rid of this. Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, the avocado's great for the gazelle. Do that, roll once. Another gazelle, sure. We can try and keep it for a bit. I think lettuce is fine, because I will hit three things. And yeah, you're buffing HP on everything. Great for you. Um, yeah, pretty good for those two as well. Probably have enough attack. That's enough to hell. Is turkey still the same as it was? It is, yeah. Turkey's a weird one. It's probably the most abused thing in... in Sap at the moment. Like, by itself, I wouldn't think that it's overpowered, but there's just too much stuff that it just makes crazy. Flea Highland Cow with Cake, no Shark with Cake, Terraton, then win without a single attack. That is an interesting thought. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do with the gazelle. It's already really big, but that's like, it's fake bigness. I kind of want to just like roll this. Just like not take the lettuce, but keep rolling for like gazelle level up and more avocados. Like, that could be really cool. Yeah, avocado. Anything? Another flea. I'm going to try and go for the flea. I've had the gazelle level up, by the way. Like, I don't need that ribbon, but, you know, it's doing a decent job on the team at the moment, so we can try it. 
Although, nah, let's leave the flea then. I'm going to try and go for something else. Like, if I can't find any in the two turns that it's, like, meant to be in the shop, then... <laughs> you know, maybe invest in something else. Like, you know, sea lion. A scaler. Mint subhound cow for Nyala. How did I write that backwards? I don't know. Zella's pretty pog. Okay, baboons. A little bit late, maybe. I'm not sure. Do I still need the dart frog? No, so we have that. I'm still going to buy this. If I can get that thing leveled up this turn, or soon, then... <laughs> I am perfectly okay with just buying all these things. Okay, another one of those. Uh, I don't want to have to sell the flea yet, but running double sea lion with a, you know, chocolate cake thing on the team is not insane. But I don't really want to stack there. I don't like the guinea pal, though. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can just, like, level this up and then buy something else. Love that. Nurse Shark. Sure. I will buy a Nurse Shark. It doesn't do anything yet, but it's early. We can try and find, like, actual trumpet stuff later, because I feel like early trumpet stuff kind of sucks, but Nyala Nurse Shark. Insane. Uh, you can buff attack on this thing, but HP on everything else. If only this thing was leveled up, it would have, like, double the stats. It's like punching through by itself. Oh, <laughs> avocados. We need it. If we're going to pivot to a trumpet build, then I need as much money as I can get next turn. So yeah, this is rolling for avocados. I'm going to do the gazelle now. Again, if I find a Nyala or more, another Nurse Shark, then it's amazing. Wouldn't mind buy selling a Blurring Doctopus, maybe. Uh, but yeah, the tier 6 stuff, not really that interested. But the Paradise is always nice to get early. Uh, Pterodon would work, but I need the other stuff. Yeah, we're doing it now. I need it to be big. Not interested in Wolf. Don't think I want to invest in the Magpie too much. So yeah, let's keep rolling. C9. Do I need it? I don't. I'm going to leave that at level 2, I think. I continue to leave this at level 2. I may grab a potato, though, so this doesn't get sniped too early. Stop. I don't need this. Okay, well, we just... We call it there, then. Didn't get as many, um... Avocados as I would have liked, but this did double up, so it's still going to get like twice as many stats versus, you know, blah 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 next turn. <laughs> yeah. I just need to find like Nyala. I still don't know what to do with you. You're probably going. It's getting kind of big, but I, I don't want to invest too much there. So, chocolate cake. Like, maybe? I think it's worth freezing. No, I need to find Nyala and stuff first. Okay, another one of these. Play it, but yeah. No. Also, no. Gonna leave the Blurring Doctopus as well. Come on, Nyala, chocolates. Like regular chocolates. Please. Nothing, okay. Flea Ribbon? Nah, like we're not, we're not invested. It has actually like grown quite a lot, but. I don't know. There are so many other things that I need to go for that I might as well try and go for later stuff if I have the um, option for it. None of this is it. Like, I don't want to freeze this. There's no point throwing that on there until I have a Nyala. And in that, in that sense, I'd rather have the Nyala first. It's not going to show up, is it? I can't even find chocolate. Oh, dear. Okay, well, there's the Nyala. Uh, I feel like I need to keep the flea for now. I may, may, may get rid of the sea lion. I don't know. I'm buffing a lot of things that I don't really want to keep. Like, it's better the longer I keep it, but I feel like I might die if I keep it too long, so. It's the smallest thing. Let's just buy this for now and then call it. Uh, yeah, something like this then. So psyched for a nurse game. It's probably dead. Like, it's not much of a nurse game yet. Mm-hmm. One heart. Another nurse shark? Well, we can level it at least. Cobra? Okay. We still know. We need to try and find chocolate cake now. Like, both of these could use chocolate cake, honestly. And then we could just, like, keep these at the back and hopefully they'll be, they'll be safe. Another Nyala and a chocolate cake. Awesome. Uh... I actually can't tell which would be better here. I think it's probably still this. 
So that maybe freeze that and roll with the chocolate cake like pretty hard. Oh, I can just like level it. That is also very solid. I'm gonna start with that. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. We're like barely saving any gold anymore though, so we can probably sell the um, gazelle soon. Ah. ah, a win. No idea what they were thinking with the new nurse. What? New nurse looks okay. I like new nurse compared to old nurse, because I felt like every time I used the old nurse shark, it would just completely waste the snipe, because it would do like 150 damage, well, way over 50 damage, you know, like, a, a 100 damage snipe to like a 5-5 five five on the enemy team, as compared to summoning a 50-50, so, uh, yeah, this is way more consistent. Anyway, yeah, we need to roll, we need to find another chocolate cake. Uh, Pterodon is amazing with these as well. I think it may be time to get rid of the flea then, because unless I can level the Pterodon to, like, level 3, then I'm only going to get one trigger, so I'd rather it work on one of these. Although maybe I should have just run it further back. That's <laughs> also probably good. I'm going to leave the avocado. We're not going to try and keep these for too long, so I think I'm fine leaving that. Uh, maybe I just go for the no shark instead of trying to chocolate cake it. I'm also really afraid of dying, but I don't want to have to like buy a tomato for junk. So yeah, I'm just going to buy this. If we die, we die, but let's try and get the Nurse Shark leveled up. Again, probably makes more sense to put, uh, do the Pterodon, because we do have two faint things we want, but... I need levels. I need to get some achievements, so we need to try. <laughs> Bye too. I'm look. I've I've been calling it a pterodon for like months. Whenever the game came out, I only got corrected like two weeks ago. It's hard to remember this pteranodon. So it's it also just sounds better. I prefer it. <laughs> Broy, hello, welcome. Uh, you know, thank you for the raids. It's never gonna change. I love it. It just sounds nicer. I literally like never realized. I just read it like the first time, and then forever, forever onwards, it's just pterodon. <laughs> Pteranodon. Okay. Yeah, Proy, thank you for the raids. You'll never stop correcting me. That's fine, but don't expect me to change. No magpies. We got, like, whatever this is going on. Uh, it will be the confused eggplants. Do I need the groundhog as well? I don't. Okay, so I might need the tamarind. No guarantees that I'm keeping it, but... You know. Potential. Hate that. <laughs> Very bad team to go against. Thank you for the hydration. You tried streaming? How was it? Was that like your first stream? Hmm. Never mind, I'm taking a magpie. <laughs> Take a magpie, give it that. Like, I, I don't think I'm going for tamarinds this game. That was your third stream. Ah. What did you play? Also, I've lost HP. I hate losing HP this early. Uh, I'm going to buy the magpie. Freeze cherries, probably, because I think I want to get one of those. I don't want to buy the groundhog, though. Yeah, no, like, this cherry's on there. Sea urchin is fine, maybe. Or I can buy the lizard and just start, like, pumping that really hard. There's all sorts of possibilities here. played sap of course i had to ask a lot of people don't play sap well, at least we got like one trick after lizard but it's not enough this is a very dead run i think we've lost like three out of four turns so far uh yeah i'm just gonna see if this can get us anywhere sure we'll take one of these two another stilt nah we're not really pushing that too hard so, leave everything where it is, maybe. Maybe throw that not to the back. Yeah, if we throw that to the back, then it's going to um, summon a dog instead of whatever it is, using a rock. Probably made the chat and set. Set? Also, what was that? A ton of snipes there. Okay. Uh, probably time to just, like, dump a load of stuff, because I feel like having a weasel and an osprey is, like... <laughs> a lot better than some of the other things. Probably sell these two first. I want to get rid of the Tamarind, but if I can get the combo just to see a tier 4, I'd love to do that. 
So, you know, we'll do that. Not gonna chocolate cake either of these. I don't think that's really worth it. Uh, I've had the weasel. I've had the weasel and the osprey. So, like, those aren't achievements I need. But they are just good. So, I don't know. Maybe, like, sell tamarind, buy a separate weasel, and then avocado. And I can just end my turn and keep, keep a lot of stuff. You don't understand how people don't want to play sap. I mean, there's a lot of people, like, when I said that, I meant there's a lot of people that watch, um, you know, streams and videos of games, but don't actually play the games themselves. So, like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this team. I'm just losing every round. And I want to be greedy. Like, I want to stack that there, stack that there, and then wait for next turn and stuff, but I'm afraid. I am exactly going to do that, but, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, these are probably like the best two things to find. So here's all three of those. I'm gonna buy an avocado, roll once, and then call it. I don't think I'm keeping the lizard on the team. Like, this is maybe a uh, tier 5 thing, but I don't think it's worth 6 gold. Well, effectively, like, 5 gold, because I could always sell it afterwards, but... 5 gold to see a tier 5, like, that's a lot for something I'm not investing in. So yeah, I'll just uh, call it there, and hopefully I won't die. Brainworks too so to explain your thought processes to sad. That's why I never stream it. Oh no. One HP already. It can be hard to talk sometimes. Like I it's I just find it hard to stream commentates. Half the time I'll like explain one thing and then I'll do something completely different. Mix up words a lot. If you're greedy, you would cake both weasels. I already said never. It's way too much. Uh, Blue Ring Doctopus. I do need that, and I do need the Catfish. So I could maybe just keep this on the team. No idea what else to do, though. Like, the Quitter isn't it. I mean, we buy it for now, at least. And then, I don't know. <laughs> Try and find an Osprey level up. Uh, sea Lion's almost tempting, but I think we just roll for Bananas. Like, that's the only thing that might be able to save this. Waffle, sure. It's also pretty helpful for now. The equivalent of a 4-4 buff during the fight. I think that's fine. And you know what? We just buy this straight away. Like, I don't mind seeing another tier 5. And it is a Nyala. Uh, it's better than some of the other things I have on the team. Could be really good if I, if I give it a chocolate cake. So let's throw that to the back. I don't know why I had Magpie at the back, by the way. Again, haven't been looking at the fights. God streaming, you know, always great commentary. No. No, definitely not. But thank you. Okay, yeah. Lettuce does nothing. I want to get the Nyala, but I feel like the Blurring Doctopus is the only thing I can sell for it. But I kind of want to get like a Blurring, Blurring Doctopus catfish game. Yeah, I have no clue. I guess I do just sell this. I'm not locked in yet. If I can find, um... I don't want to do that. This is roll for the the thing and yeah. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake or avocado maybe. No. <laughs> Alright. Oh well there it is. Alright, we'll just freeze that. Leaving avocado. We're not going to need that, but yeah, chocolate caking that so we get like a free 16-16 in the fights. I think that's well worth it. You got the last ring ribbon of the touch pack? Hey, nice! What was it? I actually can't remember what my last one was from the default pack. Now they're in the back. I forget. Okay, it's fine. The run was doomed anyway. Nice. This is what I mean though. I can't pay attention to stuff when I'm streaming, so I make like really big dumb mistakes. So uh, yeah. And if I don't like get called out on it, I won't see it because I'm always like looking at chat during the fights most of the time. Those are the whales. I think that was like one of my first ones. I used to be really into doing like whale deer teams. Not necessarily with turkey, but <laughs> whale deer I loved. Shows us that you're human. I want to be an optimal human though. <laughs> Zero mistakes. Uh, I'm actually kind of tempted to just roll twice to save two golds. Like if I lose, it doesn't matter, and I don't want to have to buy another one of these. But probably makes more sense if I find the level up then. You know, it's good. But yeah, these three, they need to carry everything. No one's perfect. 
Yeah, but there's definitely a thing about like playing to your strengths. And I don't think my strength is... <laughs> I don't know, streaming. Talking and doing stuff at the same time. I'm more of a one thing at a time kind of person. You need a bunch of tier 5 pets from that one. Some of them are really hard. Wait, which uh, pack do you mean? Like turtle pack or this one? Anyway, we don't need squids. I, I could try the lizard again. I don't mind it. It's kind of interesting with like silk moth cone snail. Yeah, let's go for that actually. And I am going to freeze an apple and may buff it really hard. <laughs> Muskox, wait, do I need that? I don't. Ah, shame. Uh, but it is like a 3-6 by itself, so that's probably worth taking. So I'll take that. Uh, I'm just going to unfreeze Apple. I don't know what I'm doing with this team, but we can get somewhere. It's a difficult thing to do. A lot of RAM required. I don't know. I know a lot of people find it very... Um, I don't know if it's intuitive, but... You know, they, they love the attention. They love just talking non-stop. I am not used to it. Like, before I started making videos and streaming and stuff, I was always the sort of person that would, like, play in complete silence all the time. So it was, like, an adjustment to start, like, talking to myself. Oh, yeah, so you haven't had the sloth. I feel that. I found, like, a ton of sloths, but I have not had the ribbon, and I have not come very close. Uh, I can get a cherry on something, maybe. I can move mustox to the back and... Throw it on something in front so he gets a second trigger. I think that's fine, maybe. Probably don't want to buy any combinations this turn anyway, so let's just like look for another one of these two. A rod stare, hello. You heard a lot of streamers say they get dumb while streaming, you're fine. Yeah, but it's not nice. Like, I know I can play a lot better than this, and I do when I'm not streaming. <laughs> the issue is, like, I had the same problem with commentary when I first started, and still do to an extent, because it's just, even when I'm not streaming, because that comes with its own, like, you know, oh, there are people watching me, it's hard to... It's hard, it's hard to think, you know, there's a level of stress to that. But even when I'm just, like, playing by myself, you, you kind of have to actively think, like, oh, I need to be talking all the time, or it's going to make the video boring. So you still have just... I just play worse than if I was just... Not worrying about any of that. It's a lot of RAM to multitask, that's why no streamers can read. <laughs> I am terrible at reading during streams. Yeah, that's, that really gets me. That's the big one, I think. You also saw three slots in less than 10 games? Dude. Oh, and you got the slot sticker this weekly. I got a level 3 slot in my... It was in one of our um, viewer lobbies. Like, I've never had a level 3 slot in Arena, but I've had, like, 8 Arena slots. Like, <laughs> they've all been terrible. Uh, anyway, what are we doing? I don't want to buy any avocado. We need these two. I can maybe go for the Mustox level up. Just because it's here. Enemy summon deal 3 damage to it. Mm, it's better than some of the things I have, but I think I'll pass. I don't want to have to go for that. Okay, Weasel. I am a fan of Weasel. Take that. Second weasel. I think I may just get rid of the mustox. I think I'd rather have extra gold. So let's try that. We have a level up. Maybe I should just board that actually, because otherwise I'm going to have to like wait two turns. Hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. There are there are worse teams. Never found a soft in arena only in lobby. It does suck, because I know some people have played the game for like you know, hundreds of hours and never found one. And then there are other people that have played for like 10 hours and got a, you know, level 3 sloth ribbon on their first game. <laughs> you know, first attempt with the sloth. And are we doing view lobbies today? We are, yeah. In like 40 minutes. Yeah, thank you, Jess. I should maybe change that so it says like docket to the start as well. Of the stream elements thing. I'm probably going to buy this now. I feel like I need to get like more stuff on the team. Lettuce on there is fine, but I'm probably going to end up combining them as well, and then I only get like plus 1-1 one, one permanent stats from it. So I don't know. Start with this. If it's a good tier 4, I can maybe buy it and then the salads, and then... I just got that. I don't need it again. We did that earlier. Let's just roll. Show me a lizard or something. More of these. Yeah, more of those. 
Okay, I'm going to wait on this one. Maybe roll roll one more time, buy some food. <laughs> uh, I want more of these. I'm keeping the weasels. I don't mind going for like a level up next turn, but for now, run it like this. Get to save a bit of gold. Hopefully, not going to die next turn. You have 200 hours in staff and never saw a slot. That's exactly what I mean. Like, I saw my first one after like... Ooh, I actually can't remember. Was it like 150 hours? Like, it was a while, but after I found my first one, I started finding them every like... I don't know, 20 hours of playtime. Which doesn't sound as much compared to the first one, but that's still like, you know... Once a month or something. Uh, yeah, combine here. What do you have? Early wolf, and I do need a wolf. I see, I could probably just take the antelope then, if I'm running a wolf as well. Get rid of Silk Moth, play the antelope wolf. Okay. Uh, don't think I need avocados. What am I looking for though? Like slugs? Dark Rock Slug could be cool, and I can maybe get rid of Magpie Lizard that way. But it's not that much. And I'd rather keep this for the level up chance. Let's just like keep looking for level up stuff. Okay, that's cool. Uh, throw it on there, but then throw everything really far back. And there is the level up. Okay, we start with that then. Start with that now. <laughs> it's a white whale. Amazing. I could maybe chocolate cake that and get even bigger summons, but I don't know if that's really worth it. Depends what we can feed to it, and we can't feed anything other than, like, slugs to it yet. An osprey wouldn't be bad either. But yeah, I think I'll leave that as it is. We're still at zero trophies. I'm ready for death. Have you tried the weekly yet? The trapdoor ant, parrots, muskox is broken. Uh, I think. I'm pretty sure I've tried this weekly. I get kind of lost because I don't touch the weeklies very often, so I, I feel like it's always different whenever I look at it. Anyway, let's get rid of the magpie now then. Like, it's, it's the same stats as the lizard, but no equipment and not summoning giant things in combat, so. Let's get that. Uh, freeze the lettuce, hopefully find something good to feed to the whale. That fish is fine. I don't know whether I just roll really hard to try and find a slug, or if I just, like, you know, buy avocado, freeze better fish, roll once. I think that's fine, honestly. Maybe summon more trumpets so I get, like, one more trigger for the antelope, but I think I'm... I think I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> I want to buy the other avocado, but this needs to eat something. Yeah, you can have that roll the rest away because we don't have a magpie anymore and yeah go go my team what does the goat do oh this guy is like a yeah friend faints gain a trumpet it used to be amazing with the old um cherry because cherry used to be like every time you gain a trumpet gain another one so if you gave cyber antelope old cherry it would basically immediately double its ability and it was incredibly strong that's an antelope. Is this the only antelope in the game? We have gazelle. I can't remember how, like, classifications work. I don't know if, um... Because I was, like, looking up bovine, because I made a bovine-only deck thing earlier for the viewer lobbies. And there's a lot of things that might not be, like... Is it you? I think mustox might not be one. But I'm not sure if it just wasn't as obvious when I googled it. But there's a lot of other stuff with, like, gazelles and antelopes that are, like, related, but... Not the same. Let's roll. I don't want any of this. I do see the cockatoo. And I do need the cockatoo, to be fair. Maybe this is where I test if cockatoo can hit the white whale. <laughs> I feel like the lizard probably isn't going to be triggering too often. And I'm, I'm not that invested in the Sigur Antelope either. If I can get a bear or something, this could be amazing. But I, I don't know. I think I leave that. I don't want this. I don't really want that either. There we go. Okay, so I do need the wolf level up. Yeah, you. I could also feed it to the beluga whale. But I think instead what I'm going to do is like sell lizard. Play that separately for now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just on here? Oh god, I'm so lost. I don't want to have to keep the Cyber Antelope, so I may leave that and just hope that I don't die. Because I would much rather find more of these wolves and chocolate and stuff. Okay, another chocolate. Nice. 
Again, this just has like an Osprey in it or something. Bad fish. Cockatoo doesn't work with Beluga. Okay. Good to have confirmation, but sad that it doesn't work. Oh no. No, they summon big things. Yeah, I'm dead. Fair enough. Yeah, that's that was just a bad run. You turn for pack three and there's a there is this. Hello, by the way. What? Well, hello, Griffin, but I don't really know what that means. The trinom trinomial name of the Western Lowland Gorilla is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. Yeah, this is... That is too much for me. I, oh, God. This is midday, but my eyes... Uh, Groundhog. I've had the Groundhog. We're not doing Groundhog. Let's just get another one of these. Call it, try and find like extra combination stuff for the next turn. Whether that's the other moth thing or just more of the same. They have like the full combo. It's confusing. Wait, comf comforting to know that even you get one, two win matches. Yeah, more than I'd like. It used to happen a lot when I was going for very like meme builds. Kind of painful when I'm just going for like an, an achievement or something, but. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Okay, I think we get like chipmunk and goose. I thought I'd buy an egg, but I don't get a goose. So yeah, run it like this. Sick balls, man. Do you think Bulldog sucks in Golden Pack? Because it doesn't have any HP scaling? Yes, I do. I think it is very broken in customs because the little I played in customs, basically everyone was running the weird Bulldog strats, which I'm not a huge fan of. Hey, early surgeon fish, and I think I need that. I do. Okay, I need this stilt as well. I don't know if I'd end up keeping both, but yeah, it's not bad. Maybe sell the cone snail. No, sell the chipmunk. I'm not going to be using that. And then we can just like roll the rest of the gold. I don't want a chocolate cake. I'd rather find just cherries for these. Cherry goods. Uh, we don't need that either. Not that interested in double doing this thing. Yeah, I don't need the Cone Snail. Okay, we can get rid of the Cone Snail next turn. Rock me a rabbit, too broken. It just gets stats way too quickly. If you have every, you know, every possible pet to just, like, spam HP onto it, and then you get a leech or something just to copy its ability, or throw a rat in front of it, maybe, just so you sort of guarantee there's going to be, you know, very large in the fights, then, yeah. And obviously, as soon as you have the stats, you just, like, triple frog to swap it onto something permanent, and then you're just, like... You have a 50-50 gorilla at, like, round 9 or something. He's had a horrifying thought. Is Golden Retriever the only pet you can't get an achievement on? No, there are other ones. Like, there's, um... Like, Butterfly? I don't know if there's anything else, but Butterfly is one. I may just, like, double buy these, honestly. Nah, they're, they're getting combined. Like, we can just throw another one on here, and then when that dies, we can, like... Assuming it doesn't get, like... So many triggers that it uses up all the trumpets, which you'd have to... <laughs> yeah, that's impossible, but... Yeah, throw this on there. Roll for another stilt, or maybe something to replace this. Hmm. Let's do that. I think I'm going to go for the Surgeon Fish double up, so let's try and make that a bit more survivable. Got a new way to scale. Tempestat scaling in the golden pack. Gazelle, Frog, Emperor scaling. Well, that's not Golden Pack, though. Unless you somehow mean uh, this Frog and this... No, that's not Emperor, that's just Tamron. Oh yeah, Dirty Rat. Yeah, that's another one. I mean, using the Golden Pack as well. How is it, though? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, because you can use... um. Does it stay, though? Because I feel like they changed it so you couldn't, like, change temporary stats into permanent stats. Or are they considered differently for the gazelle? I want the weasel. Yeah, that's an easy take. Uh, bedfish? It could be kind of interesting to throw that with a chocolate cake in front of the surgeon fish, but... I... I don't know about that one. Let's just try and find, like, level ups. Like, weasel, surgeon fish, stilts, any of that, please. Another weasel, sure. Lettuce is kind of interesting as well. I may combine these and run double weasel for a bit. There's a lot of gold. 
Okay. Stats from the Emperor is permanently into the shop. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. That seems like a lot of effort, though. A hey, good bulldog. Maybe we need a special food to summon a golden retriever, a dirty rat, and butterfly so you can get the achievements and custom packs. I feel like golden retriever you probably should be allowed to get. Because it would take a lot of effort just to, you know, pill a st you know, because you couldn't do it in this pack, but if you um, had a custom pack or a weekly or something where you could, like, pill a stilt in the shop and then, you know, sell and or kill everything else so you only have one thing left. And then it should, like, summon the golden retriever. Because, you know, you'd have to, like, throw really hard just to enable that. I think it'd be fair. The, you know, Dirty rats and stuff would be a little more annoying. And sub, hello! Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, yeah, we're buying this. I need to find stilts, surgeon fish, weasel, and then more green food. Stilt is good, I'll be buying this. Uh, ooh. Another avocado, another lettuce. Lettuce. I like everything I have on my team at the moment. The sad thing is, the big thing that I want to get rid of are, like, the Bulldog and the Stilt, but then that's kind of my engine. <laughs> like, if I get rid of the Bulldog, then my um, Surgeon Fish isn't as amazing. And obviously, if I get rid of the Stilt, then it breaks, like, everything else, so... Oh, damn. That was sad. A few days ago, you were wondering if it was possible to get a Golden Retriever achievement by summoning it and getting it to level 3. You wouldn't get the Ribbon, but still. I mean, you can probably get it to level 3 in a fight. Like, if, if you have, um... Where is it? You. With, like, flying fish or something, then, yeah, it could it could get summoned and then leveled up. Maybe. I actually don't know, because you'd have to have only one thing on your team. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, if it's, like, level 3, then that would work. But, yeah, obviously you wouldn't get anything for that. Maybe a cool lead strike would be having max money. That's a 50-50 golden retriever in your shop. I do want more Easter eggs. I've said this before, but, like, you know the Stork? It should summon something from the previous shop tier, and if you get it, like, on turns 1 and 2 from an early combination, then it should be able to summon a tier 1 pet in, in combat. And I want to see it. Just throw in, like, a baby sloth or something. Just, I want a, a token tier 1 pet. And I also really want this, so we're buying it. And a Nurse Shark. Okay. Well, I'm very happy to see that, even though we don't have... Good generation yet, but this is much nicer. We actually have HP this time, so... I don't know what I do to take it, but I do want to take it. Like, do I have to combine these? I don't want to do that either. But I feel like I have to, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll do that then. Uh, maybe potato it for now. Is that or I just keep rolling for... Avocados. Avocados a weasel. Uh, hmm. I will buy this and freeze an avocado. I don't know how long I'm keeping the surgeon fish for, but I'm all right with it for now. And I am now noticing that the nurse shark is going to snipe all my stuff away, but I'm fine with that. Yeah, <laughs> that worked. I'm not singing the baby shark song to baby sloth. Let's email the devs. They get, like, bombarded with suggestions in their Discord. But there's loads of stuff, like, I've heard. Like, it'd be really cool if they added some other stuff, like, um... I just want there to always be a benefit to leveling something up. So, with for stuff like, um, Scorpion, I think it used to have the ability where, on level up, it'd gain another, like, 5 HP or something. And I think stuff like Bus and, um, B and stuff should all have some benefit to being, like, level 3. Even if it's something really dumb, like, having a level 3 B means... When it gets leveled up, it gives everything else honey on your team. Something, you know, not good, but interesting. And yeah, we're buying as many of these as I can find. And I may buy this this turn, because if I find a Nyala or a No Shark, then that's that's what I want for this build. There are decent tier 6 stuff, but again, if we're going for No Shark, Nyala, then we need to find them as soon as possible. Uh, Wolf is pretty solid. I can maybe just sell Bulldog here, because I kind of like my No Shark using my Trumpets instead. So let's just do that, throw it at the back. Call that safe. Give me one of those, thank you. And yeah, we're buying this now as well. Emu, not interested. Okay, so yeah, we're not using the surgeon fish. Oh god, it gives 12 HP, never mind. Never mind, we're using the surgeon fish. 
<laughs> I forgot, that's so much. That's a lot of stats. Alright, nice. If you give an egg to a chicken and pill it, then it should spawn a hatching chick with 25% chicken stats. What? That's going way too deep. Like, I've been so lost. Uh, I can't do this. I, I'm i not even freezing it. I'd rather find normal chocolates, and I'm not buying any chocolate cake until I find a Nyala. Like, we need that on the team. Stop. Nyala, thank you. Okay, so... Get rid of the wolf, maybe? Like, I'm not really going to be using this. I like the weasel for the gold generation. Could maybe get rid of the surgeon fish, but... It's, it's so good. I like it. I'm going to buy-sell this, because it's expensive, and I'd rather find other things. We're not investing any more into the weasel. Okay, another Nyala. Uh, do I sell stilt for this Nyala? Or do I just stack it on top? It's like six gold. I'd be gaining a little bit, but I still think I'd rather just stack it for now. And let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. We can find the stuff I need. I hope. <laughs> okay. Oh, that doesn't really work. All right, we'll throw the weasel to the back then, which is not a great place to have it, but this whole team is a mess. If I throw the nurse shark to the back, then it won't trigger. We'll just summon the um, the dog instead. Hey, there we go. Look at that, 442. It doesn't even trade well. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, we need we need chocolate related things. Another nurse shark. I mean I'll buy it. Probably. I don't think I'm running double nurse shark. Come on, please, chocolatey things. Okay, upgrades. Good. Wildebeest, no, not interested. Okay. So if I can get a chocolate cake on this and the Nyala and level up the Nyala, then we can just like destroy the enemy team. Like insta kill three things. For now, it's a little bit rough though. Like this is This is hurting a bit. Okay, I like the bears as well, but they obviously don't work. Throwing this on here, because I want it. Uh no, none of this. Like, I want to do this. I need both of these things to get leveled up, but I don't know if this is going to get me killed if I keep buying these without having other reason yet. You are larger, so I'd rather put chocolate cake on the Nyala first, I think. So we'll do that. I'd love to find a Pteranodon. And I don't know. Maybe I buy a tomato just so I don't die too quickly. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I feel bad having, like, one thing at the back. Because if this insta-dies to someone else's, like, you know, double tomato or something, then my nurse shark isn't going to trigger. And that's very bad. I'm just going to throw that on there for now, because I feel like I need something on the team. Yeah, she said Tyranodon. I'm trying. It's hard. <laughs> I love this thing having so much, um... So much HP, but no attack. Hey, chocolate cake. All right, so... I said I'd throw it on there, but I... Oh, God. Then I'm going to have to move this as well. Whatever. Whatever. It goes on there. Until it gets, like, leveled up. Which it made very, very quickly. Uh, pizza bread. I'd rather not. I definitely want this. Okay, let's maybe get rid of the Surgeon Fish now. Like, you have to go to the front if I'm having the Pteranodon. Then you'll find further back. I don't know what to do with the Surgeon Fish. I'm getting rid of the Surgeon Fish. It's messing with my head too much. And... Yeah, I don't feel like this really does anything. I think I'm going to roll three times instead. We have actually leveled this up now, which is cool. Just need to give it different equipment. And yeah, I'm going to leave this in the second last position. Ideally, it'd be one further back, but I don't want it to get insta-sniped, so yeah. Okay. Pillar bus and summon 1-1 school kids. 
this is going way too weird. I've heard people say they should add, like, people propelling buses before, but it's like... I don't know if I want more, like, weird stuff like that in the game. Hound cow. Not going to be leveling it, so I think I may just, like, throw that on there. Or potato, maybe? I don't want to get... I don't want it to get sniped early. See, I think that makes sense. This also makes sense, but I think this makes the most sense. And yeah, again, I want potato on here as well. I'd also love to get that thing leveled up. Uh, like that too? How many trumpets would I be getting? Be another eight. Eight trumpets is probably worth more than um an eight damage snipe. But also it'd die and I'd lose like the five, six. I guess I'll leave that. Leave that, just buy this. And it actually would have been better, because it'd be... Oh. They snipe my guy, what happened there? My poor weasel. Has that popularity peaked already? I mean, probably. I think it peaked around when like Ludwig was playing quite a lot, and I don't think he's played recently. It's not, like, dead or anything, though. I know there's still a lot of big YouTubers that come back to it every now and then. Like, RCE plays it sometimes. Um, I mean, Northern Lion still plays it all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely not, like, dying or anything. Prop had its all-time peak when XQC and Lud were playing every day. I didn't know XQC played it, actually. Played some Pack 4 recently. Wait, who? I saw RCE play Pack 4. <laughs> chat loves Sap. I know, they're literally his most popular videos. Scooty plays it? Yeah, I know he does. That's like, way more expected. Sap. Sap Tube is playing Sap. Uh, I, I feel like I need to get rid of things. Like, I want to sell the stilt, I think, but I don't know what I'm replacing it with yet. And I like the weasel. <laughs> it's weird. I'm just gonna do this. We can find something else. Mm -hmm, maybe. I mean, I kind of want to replace that as well. Let's throw that on there, give it a potato, and then I'm just going to buy sell two Blurring Doctopuses. <laughs> Let's keep that going, alright. Okay, I'm going to throw it like more like this then. So again, this still dies first, so it gets the Pteranodon thing. If we ever level that up, then I'm going to have to move this further back again. But for now, I think it's good to have it in second position, so I'm not like wasting its ability if it doesn't die. Kino also plays Sap. He does! Oh, Lud played recently. Okay. Oh. Wait. I still summoned the big thing, so I didn't die. Good. Oh, we're so close to getting, like, two... <laughs> two achievements in one run. Okay. I should have done it on there. That was dumb. Like, I, I forgot I'm, like, about to die. Can we just, like, sell this again and play a tomato? Run a four squad? I think we can handle that. And look at me, hello. I'm doing okay. That Kino guy seems cool. Ah, agree to disagree. <laughs> I think we like snipe their backline or something. They didn't I'm pretty sure they didn't start with a Vaquitter at the front. Well, you know, at the at the back of their team. We don't need this. We need chocolates. It's the final turn. Show me my Nyala level up. Or something. Definitely not you. Okay, well, I can't get the level up this turn <laughs> anymore, but... I don't know. I don't want to have to buy-sell Blurring Dogs, but I'd much rather just get this thing leveled up, so I'll roll really hard for that. I'll freeze this, but come on. Show me Pteranodon. Okay, well, we're taking this then. Uh, If this is the final turn, it doesn't really matter if this is at the back. So, yeah, we'll throw that to the back so we can still summon some... Extra trumpets if we need. Gonna leave everything else where it is. It's sad that we didn't get the Pteranodon working with the Nurse Shark though, because we could have been doubling this and having, you know, completely wiping their team when it dies. Oh. They killed my weasel. And then we lose. <laughs> Why? Oh god, okay. Pain. Where are we at? 20 more minutes. Crying. That one hurts. That one should have. That one should have got somewhere. Ooh. I haven't had my goose level up. I think I'm gonna go for both of these. 
And let's be the small jokers. But yeah, when I say go for both of these, I'm not going to go for a level 3 Silk Moth, because I have had that. But level 3 Goose, maybe? What is this? <laughs> he drew and he had like one thing on his team. Uh, I mean, I could. I'm probably keeping it for a while, so sure. Okay, never mind. We are going for level 3 then, because we're finding a lot of these. Uh, let's spread these out then. Maybe like this. So now everything with 2 HP has a, a Silk Moth behind it. They will have a chance to heal up a bit. Hey. That was indeed the last turn. It was, and not in the best way. Oh, so many things. Okay, we'll start with that. Early flea and we can chocolate cake it. Don't mind. Uh, oh, well, if I double combine here, I can only buy... Well, I can buy two things, but then I can't chocolate cake it as well. But I'm probably fine with that. I'll just run the flea without it for a while. And, uh, yeah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> so I guess I do buy flea, other silk moth, and just keep one of these frozen. Hercules Beetle's interesting, but... It's only really because it's big. I think I'll roll it. Don't need two of those. Uh, yeah, okay. What's a good sniper team in this pack? I mean, basically the build I just had. Like, some sort of trumpet generation, and then, like, Pterodon, uh, Nurshark. Nurshark is very solid now. Like, spend up to ten, ten trumpets, then deal triple damage up to, you know, three enemies if it's level three. It's very nice, and you can double that with a Pteranodon, so. It's pretty cool doing this. I don't know. I feel like I have to buy this just because it's large. And I can get some value when I sell it again later. Might throw that on there. Still waiting for a separate moth so I don't have to combine all these because if I find another one I can stack it on there and then combine again and I can get two combinations for one find. Would be cool. The shack is very solid. Yes, yes, definitely not straight up broken strong. Look, I haven't had a win with it, so... Yes. I'm not gonna big it up that much. How would you feel about the game mode which gives you more than five slots in battle? I think it'd be really cool if they did play around more with them. Um, other ideas, other game modes. Because, like, with hard mode, I kind of want them to make another mode that's more of a roguelike type thing, where you get, like, loads of modifiers and you keep them during your run. And you go against other people that also have their modifiers. It would be completely unbalanced and broken, probably, but I think it'd be really interesting to see. Because then you can have, like, you know, specific build types, but also with, like, passive passive modifiers to how your team functions. <laughs> I think that could be really cool. Uh, I'm also going to go for the goose, I think. So I think I'm buying this. I'm going to leave the penguin. Let's just don't do anything, because if they only buff a flea, that's going to kill itself. Oh, and here we go. Okay. So I do this. Manta Ray? That is early. I think that's worth doing. I may combine these again and sell Hercules Beetle. Well, my buy Manta Ray first, then sell Hercules Beetle. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no. Okay, we buy the Manatee. I think I'm uh, getting the Manta Ray as well, but... I think I may be abandoning Flea and Hercules Beetle. And then I may go for a Bananatee game. I don't know what to do about the Flea, though. There's too many things I want to get rid of. Uh, Freeze... Don't buy the lettuce. It's going to be pointless on this. But yeah, definitely freezing avocado. And you know what? No. No manta ray. We're going to need as many manatees and, like, room stuff as possible. We just spend next turn looking for avocados. Everything else I'm fine with, though. So, it only works in battle, right? I don't think so. I think it works, like, whenever. So, if you have something like a yak, then a... Well, in fact, it may work with a manatee. <laughs> I'm not I'm not tempted to try it because I kind of want my manatee to die, but... So you can extend your manatee. Yeah, but then it has one less ability in battle, and I don't actually care about it. I want this to die, because next turn I can find bananas, and assuming I do, then I can get like an, a turn for... Well, tier 4 monkey, which is insane. Yeah, I could buy this, and then it's doing that, which is pointless, and then this, which is also pointless. <laughs> I'm just going to keep rolling, I think. Alright, so yeah, next turn, the one thing we need to find, a banana. I will roll until I am out of gold, assuming I can find this. 
Monkey scaling was how you got your low tier ribbons. I'm hoping you don't mean in this pack. But <laughs> I feel like I probably got a lot of um, ribbons using monkey scaling as well in like the first pack. Do I freeze some of these things in case I need them? Like, I do need to roll hard to try and find banana, but I'm wondering what I freeze in this section. I can probably go for a combo from these. But yeah, we are rolling until I find a banana. Thank you. And let's sell this. So how do you work? If your friends want attack front to back for each battle, this is fought. So I want these two to get it. Everything else is pointless. Like This is dead. That's getting sold. This thing dies, so it doesn't benefit from stats. So yeah, I'm just going to sell it now, I think. And then let's triple buy. Emu. Uh, not really interested. Probably going to keep the Cuttlefish around longer than the Silk Moth, though, because Silk Moth already have the achievement. I have the Cuttlefish achievement as well, but it's way better, so. It's between Goose and Cuttlefish. I don't know what I'm doing with this game, but <laughs> let's buff the Cuttlefish. I want to keep it. Uh, throw that further forwards. And then I think we're okay. There we go. Turn 7 monkey. In a pack without any monkeys. <laughs> and it starts as a 4 4 too, so better than an average shot monkey. That was a scary fight. Okay, uh. I mean, I can try and get more. <laughs> more monkeys. If I find another, uh. Anity, I may take it. I don't mind getting rid of the flea if I have to. But that's only if I find it. For now, just like take the banana. I think this is staying. I think I'll just like keep my one thing. Definitely buff that now. Yeah. I think this stays. I'm probably not going to use a Pteranodon for it. I think I just try and get it to level 3 and then I can keep my other slots open for whatever. And I love that. It didn't replace any ink. I don't know how this works. I don't know if it's also programmed so you can't replace, like, negative equipment with other negative equipment. Or, you know, not prioritized. <laughs> I'm leveling my monkey. He stays. Um, I don't know. I can maybe go for another one. Let's get rid of the flea. Let's see if we can get another monkey going. Maybe? This is a lot. Hmm. Hmm. Did you see Super Auto gaming video with a 50-50 lizard getting healed by the Spinosaurus? Absolutely correct. I did not. I've seen people doing, um, like, emu stuff. Because I also had a, I had a run where I, it was a, it was a custom pack ages ago. I, I'm pretty sure I got the win, but I never posted it. But it was, um, like, level 2 emu, level 2 save 2 tiger, and it was just, like, bouncing the save 2 tiger back and forth. And healing it. It was pretty solid, but... Yeah, I couldn't get the perfect, like, you know, both well, frontline 50-50, everything level 3. I got that several times, but they all died at 9 trophies, and it was so frustrating. Silk behind Cuttle. Uh, yeah, probably makes more sense. I'm probably going to leave the goose. I don't know. I want to try and get, like, those of monkeys if I can, so I may just get rid of that. No, because, yeah, I, I wanted um my buffs, so I'm, I'm fine doing it like this, maybe. Maybe buff the monkey over the silk moth, though. I don't need that. Banana, yes. Another banana. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We're going for multiple monkeys, then. Uh, Cuttlefish definitely stays, but I could maybe go for, like, Cuttlefish triple monkey game or something. I think that could be cool. And Xanaros, hello. Yeah, silk moth. We already have the ribbon, and it has decent stats at the moment, but I don't really want to keep it. Find ditching that soon. I think we're probably going to lose here, though. Yeah. <laughs> There's something like a 2020. Can't handle that. It was pretty close, but yeah. Alright, 3 HP, though. That's still, like, manageable. So, we're doing this. We're not doing Bird of Paradise scaling. We're still not doing Bird of Paradise scaling. I like what I have. Pretzel, nah. I mean, I could sell the Silk Moth by Pretzel and some other random thing. I don't know if that's worth it for 
you know, full full permanent stats, but I'm losing all the temporary stuff from this. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep rolling. Bit of bread on here could be really cool. Uh, another pit of bread. What else would need pit of bread though? Yeah, nothing. Okay, so we're gonna leave that then. I think I need to find like uh, you tomatoes later. More monkeys. I think we're probably capping out at three. Because once this thing is pretty big, I'm going to have to start scaling up another monkey. Manatee? Yeah, these guys. It's a win. Man, he's getting healed. You're right! Oh, I forgot. Or oh, didn't see. Yeah, so that may have like, stalled it out a turn, which sucks. Plus 3 HP. Yeah, I think it did. Uh, okay. Uh, Level U? I want to not lose, but I like the idea of leveling my monkeys. Because then we can start scaling even faster. So I may try that first. And it also like, leaves us open to leveling this by finding another one in the shop. So yeah, this is fine. Okay, I think this is probably big enough for now then. So like next turn I may move my um, level 2 monkey to the front and make that start getting the monkey buffs. Oh, these fights are rough. I don't know what to do. Like with it's very close. But yeah, it's, it's not really enough. Okay, love this. Uh you can have that. I'm not selling anything like I don't know, I can roll three times and maybe sell something for this, but... Yeah. Okay, so I need... I may as well throw this to the front, to be honest. Like, having a really high attack thing in front is nice, but I kind of want this to trigger as soon as possible, because... You know, we might be able to snipe a backline that's going to, like, crush me. So I'm going to let you hit that. Obviously, you need to move that away from the manatee again. Although it would die before it gets the healing, but yeah, I still want that further forward. I think the rest of this is okay. There we go. Third monkey. Let it live. I just need a couple of turns so they can like scale away from insta death. Okay, okay. <laughs> Still alive? Mm hmm. No, oh, I mean. To the monkeys. Always to the monkeys. There's time. <laughs> it would take two turns, but there is time for this to die. Well, you know, three turns to actually get the monkey on the team, but I could maybe go for four monkeys. Let's go. That's greed. Extreme greed. Uh, that is also amazing. Very happy to see that. Continue buffing that one. You can buff that monkey. And then, I don't know. Like, this one's probably big enough as well now, so I could maybe start putting the banana one to the front, and then once it's a bit bigger, maybe give that a pit of bread or another tomato. Yes, the greed. I feel like we have good scaling now, so we might be able to survive it. Alright, so that's amazing. Uh, I love all of this. I just have everything I could ever want. Yeah, you're not... We're not selling anything. Okay, so... I'm going to throw this to the front. Let's th let this get some, some buffs, I think. And... I don't know, buff this monkey then? I think that's good. We'll get our other monkey <laughs> next turn. At the end of the next turn. Obviously, we won't get any buffs from the monkey itself that turn, but... We're almost there. Oh no, this is scary. Yeah, we're dead. So close. It was so close. Okay. The runs have been rough today. <laughs> it's really sad to see this one go. Hate to see it, yeah.